Hello everybody, I am Joshua Griffin and today we're going over linked lists versus vectors. Now, so first we're going to go over what a vector is. So a vector is a contiguous block of memory, which means that they're all next to each other. Every single piece of bit data is right next to each other. And essentially what it means is that it's an array that can be resized um, to be greater than or less than its original capacity, as long as it's not 0 or 1. Um, if it's zero, it can't be less than that. And if it's one, you could, could you could go down to zero, but at that point, why make one? Uh, you might as well just delete it and call it good. So we'll go right into the pros. Now, one pro is that it has dynamic size. Another pro, I'm gonna just do that, I guess, for each of these. Uh, it's quick to access. Now. If you haven't seen the next linked list uh, video, I went over how to access each node, and essentially you have to go through and jump from node to node. That is, is, is explained more in the linked list videos, and now those will be linked in the uh, description. Now, next would be the cons of this. So, cons. Unfortunately, when you add or remove, when you remove, it's actually really slow because when you remove a variable like here, you have to actually shift all these down. That way you don't just have a hole. And then adding, it's the same thing. When you add in a new thing, you have to push everything down and then copy it over if you have to resize it, and it can be really, really slow. It is one of the pros that is dynamic, but it's also a con because it's slow. But at that point... If you're building a inventory and you know your size for the inventory, it will never be less than, I don't know, 30 inventory slots. You would typically use a vector for that. And the reason being is because you already know the size and it's very fast to be accessing, moving things around and all that kind of stuff. So the next thing I want to go over is a linked list and why you would use that compared to vectors. I'm going to call this LL from now on. So pros. And what it is is a, um, it's a list that looks like this. It's a bunch of nodes that point to each other, and it's a line. It's the reason why it's called linked, because they link to each other. If you think about a chain link, the first chain link doesn't know about the last chain link. It doesn't really care. Um, yeah, that, that would be the way I would explain that. I could go further in depth. In the, the pros and cons of a linked list is you can resize and... Um, insert faster. So for example, um, so I will write this down. So you can resize and insert faster. It's dynamic and you can remove fast. So essentially where the um, where the vector falters, the linked lists become better. But the downside is Again, it's pretty much the exact opposite of a vector. It's slow to actually access. Blazingly fast to insert and resize and things like that because everything is not contiguous. You could just say, okay, I want to insert something here. And all you have to do is just change this value to something new and this one down to this one. And then you just remove that. It's very quick. It's very quick. It's if you really want to get into it, it's O of N. Now I'll go over that in the next video. Um, stay tuned for that. Cause that that's a whole nother topic. Again, if you liked it, please let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on this video to help me out and let me know, hey, these are okay. And give me some feedback. Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, uh, that was linked lists versus vectors. I'll see you later.